Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for my Love from Lizzie November 2017 10 Cards 1 Kit video. For my first card, I use a geometric shape mask with blue cardstock and my own sugar texture paste. I allowed that to dry, and then once it was dry, I attached the gold uh, mirrors and a gold star. Two matchsticks went to the bottom for the trunk and one stabilized the star. I attached two pieces of foam to the back. I let set that aside and then I found a blue piece of pattern paper with superimposed snowflakes. I laid that on top of the inside of the frame that I made. This frame had the gold pearlescent paper on the outside of it, which I filled with snowflake materials. I attached the back to the front, put a nice ribbon that was in the kit on the front of it, cut out an easel from my stash, attached two, two together and have a real nice, you know, something festive. And that, now we're going to need a box or a special envelope to deliver it in or ship it. This will also hold uh, five cards with envelopes. The piece of cardstock needs to be 11 by 8 and a quarter inches. The measurements were on the screen a moment ago. And you're going to have four score marks atop the landscape side, so the longest end, four and a half inches, five and one quarter inches, nine and three quarter inches, and ten and a half, which is just happening now. So try to remember that line for later. And then on the portrait or the short side, three quarter inches, six and three quarter inches, and seven and a half inches. And we should pay attention to those lines later too. So three score marks on the short side, four on the long. Now on this side there's only one score mark, and on the other side there's two. So on this edge you're going to remove one little square from the bottom and then the next score line up you're going to notch it. Cut out all the material that the scoring tool made and this will close really well. Now you're going to come over to the next corner cutting out the bulk there and on this corner you're going to remove the first two corners off the top score mark and also take away the edge of this of the score tool on the top as well. And on the second one you're going to keep that as a flap but you're going to get rid of the first square. Also cutting out the ridge left by the score tool. And now we're going to turn it, rotate it to the bottom and on this one you're going to uh, do the same kind of thing. Come up, you're going to make, miss the first one, first one's coming off and the second one is going to be made into a flap. So you've got your flap there and then you cut right up the edge of the score line. So you've got this top that sticks out on the two flaps. That's going to be your lid. So you can round off those corner. And then when you look at it, you can see there's only one section that isn't cut. So you just cut out your score lines right up to the first score line. And you've got some flaps. So you can burnish them. Um, the ten and a half line, score line, that's where you'd apply your adhesive. And then on the bottom you've got uh, two long ends with a flap at the beginning and one in the middle, that's your bottom. <coughs> There's the easel and that will fit nicely in there. And I could put a card in there as well. So now we're on to card number two. With the many panels and wooden elements that there are in this kit, I chose two. Uh, I used a panel in this kit as well as this wooden piece which was heat embossed with some blue embossing powder. I applied Nouveau Drops to make berries and into the leaves there. I used the dispenser for that though. And uh, burlap ribbon 
as well as a green sparkle ribbon was laid at the bottom of the panel which was cut kind of kitty corner. Jute ribbon was attached to the top to the Joy to the World panel. Inside I put two mats. The first was navy and the second white. The top had, uh, I thought it probably the best to put tape behind it and I made sure that I put lots of uh, other adhesive to attach this to the card base. And that's card number two. And we're on to card number three. This is a gatefold, so it's good to do your scoring just on one side. So each end gets a two and one eighth inch score line. Then I wanted to cut out the decorative windows here. I actually cut out four of them, four panels, and um, I marked off, made sure I had them in the same spot on each panel. And then I took some uh, this vellum is from my stash. This is part of the, meta the pearlized uh, panels. This blue is beautiful. I put uh, that down each end of this front panel and then uh, on top of these the other panel will go so it's finished off and like I said there's lots of panels so this one here is Noel the white pearlized paper is behind there and then I took some of snowflakes from my stash and um, did some embossing on the back so it wasn't you know bland sitting there it's, this is a card that'll stand up as well I attached the Noel panel to white pearl pearlescent uh, card panel that came in the kit. There was a, well, it was a real assortment of different pearlized and metallic um, mats. I used a sentiment from the stash uh, from the Love from Lizzie Sorry stamp kit as well as the sequence from the kit. I heat and boss that with puff um, embossing powder and add some snow to the word Noel. Card number four, I also heat embossed the December 25th with old-fashioned gold embossing powder. Here I used a, utilized uh, a panel, um, but where they had cord in the picture, I actually put cord on uh, the panel and hung the December the 25th off of that. This was on the craft uh, pinstripe cardstock. It's beautiful paper. So I heat embossed with white. Trim that down. Attach that to the front of the card so it's a uh, tone on tone. And then I add some more sequins and these um, studio Katia snowflakes and they just glitter from my stash. They're beautiful. Um, and that's that card. And now we're on to card number five. Card number five, I did some color, uh, watercolor pencil drawings there and then I attached these red berries. This is cardstock that was in the pattern paper. I cut an assortment of snowflakes from the die that was also in the kit. I keep saying that. Uh, these are the uh, Studio Katia snow as well as white beads and uh, it's called crushed grass which I sprinkle on there to hang on to any of the glue that's left. Those Snowflakes are cut out of the little bit of paper that was left from the white pearlized uh, card mat. Took some uh, hemp twine with gold metallic thread and jute and tied that to the top of this holly sprig. Trimmed down the cords and the jute. And that just sparkles. Those are the wood are are supposed to look like wooden Christmas trees when you see them all together. And then I just put um, 
uh, snowflake inside with a strip of the paper that matches the front. I heat and boss a sentiment that says Merry and Bright from the Love from Lizzie exclusive stamp set. Used a sticker that said Magic of Christmas from the kit. And we're on to card number six. This blue and white pattern resembles pine needles and alongside of the blue pearlescent uh, it's really a metallic paper. It really uh, looks wonderful together. Uh, the snowflake dye was in my stash and I found some uh, white glittery paper and I thought that would go nice. Um, making that Happy Holidays sticker from the sticker sheet look like a wreath. I decided that the, the blue and gold ribbon from the accessories bag would look really nice on that. So I did that. I carried the blue uh, um, pearlescent paper into the inside as well as the pattern paper and what love from Lizzie's stamps are such good quality I thought I'd put the Christmas tree that has a wood grain in it with the uh, embossing pattern inside of it so there's the outside with some sequins and there's the inside and now we're on to card seven Uh, I just cut a piece of paper from the kit in half. This was another piece of pattern paper that I, I ran through an embossing folder that has quilt patterns on the front of it and turned it into a quilt. I did some surgery on a doily as well as another sticker. Attach those both to the front. Gold pearlescent peel-offs on the front and inside. It says Merry Christmas and inside it has a Believe sticker with a piece of pattern paper to complement it on the inside as well with another peel off. Card 8 is the graphite pearlescent paper. I used uh, another spell binder die, attach the acetate to it, the snowflake acetate. And then I have these strips that I get from Stampin' Up! for shaker cards and I applied that right up against the acetate. I would suggest that you use a double sided adhesive to put the acetate onto the frame. And then uh, carried over colors from the pattern paper which is grays and whites and blues in a kind of an old fashioned snowflake pencil drawn design. And uh, that pattern paper is exactly the inside size of the frame so everything fits together great and then the two pieces are attached to a frame. And although those, all of those snowflakes were heat embossed and they're actually attached to the paper. When the paper went on I put a dab of adhesive so when I closed it up it would stay put. And now card 9 I layered circles of a stitched um, die, circle die, and I uh, put five or six layers of that on and um, an outside one, and one that was slightly larger, a solid piece, so it fit nicely. And then uh, that metallic blue, a great choice for this, cut out a Star David die, and then brought those strips back again. I wanted to have the panel which this circle is going to sit on with the Star David uh, elevated. So I put a piece of foam between uh, the circle and the panel. And then uh, Happy Hanukkah I stamped out with uh, an alphabet die. And then I attached this panel to a card. And that's number nine. And then card number ten. A heat embossed snowflake stamps with glacier white embossing powder from cardstock in my stash, which matched this common bright perfectly. I laid that on top of the antique gold panel that was in the kit, on top of the snowflakes, which I heat embossed panel onto the same color card base. A strip of light paper was added to the inside, and finally, Brilliance Gold holiday chair was stamped to the inside. Thank you so much for watching. 
And here are all ten cards. If you need assistance in anything, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Bye-bye.